Every two years, we Americans celebrate our freedom by getting a new phone and agreeing to be locked in by a multi-billion dollar wireless carrier. They trap us in pricey contracts with hard to understand benefits while making it incredibly hard to leave, let alone take our phone with us. But there's a surprisingly easy way to get out of here. Unlocked phones are not bound to a specific carrier. With them, you can switch from, say, AT&T to T-Mobile to Cricket Wireless, or even Europe's Vodafone when you go on vacation. Generally, it does mean paying more for your phone up front, but you can have your pick of carriers and you can save more money in the long run. If your contract is up, here's how to make a break for it. Step one, get yourself an unlocked phone. You'll have to pay full price. There's no more subsidized pricing, which the carriers really only gave you so you'd sell your soul to them. The good news is that the price has come down on a lot of the best unlocked Android phones. Take the 64 gigabyte Moto X, which is one of my favorite phones. It's $500 unlocked. The Moto G doesn't have as nice a screen or camera, but it costs only $179. Google's Nexus 5 costs 350, and the exceptional OnePlus One is just $300. You won't find that sort of pricing on iPhones. An unlocked entry-level iPhone 6 costs $650, but it should be, in theory, easier to unlock old iPhones and old smartphones through your carrier. The FCC has pushed carriers to unlock out-of-contract phones. AT&T almost instantly unlocked my out-of-contract iPhone 5, but declined to unlock an iPhone 5S still in contract. And good luck trying to fight it. Can I please speak to your manager? I bought the phone. Step two, find a service plan for your new unlocked phone. The best way to save money is by staying away from those big carriers. But first, some basics. Most unlocked phones run on the GSM network. That means they're compatible with AT&T and T-Mobile's network. They likely won't work on Verizon or Sprint's CDMA network. Although some iPhone models work on both networks. Smaller prepaid carriers actually use those same networks too. For instance, Cricket Wireless uses AT&T's network and MetroPCS is on T-Mobile's, but both charge less per month for service. I mean, check this out. Cricket Wireless charges $45 for 2.5 gigabytes of data and unlimited talk and text on AT&T's network. AT&T charges $65 for about the same. I've been using a Cricut wireless SIM in the OnePlus for the last week in New York, and I've been totally satisfied with the service performance. But there's still plenty of reasons to go with a big player. And T-Mobile offers the best deal, $60 for three gigabytes of LTE and perks like international data. And here's another great thing if you go with one of the smaller guys like Cricut, Straight Talk, or Metro PCS. You can just up and leave. It's empowering just to think about. No big carrier contracts are not gonna vanish overnight, but with affordable unlocked phones and strong pricing competition, contracts seem stupid. It's a big step forward in getting the wireless freedom we deserve.